David, everyone's on a real high, I think it's fair to say, after the weekend pass. But, you know, is that carried through to this weekend? Is, uh, have you kind of let the 90th minute euphoria die down yet? <laughs> yeah, obviously, at the weekend we were buzzing. It was good to get a 90, 90th minute winner. It was crazy at the end, but boys have come into training this week. We're full of enthusiasm, working on to try to cause Celtic problems. Is it hard for you? Because, I mean, when you have a moment like that to then have to come in on the Tuesday, and it's, it's back to square one again, if you like. Uh, it's just back to square one on the next, next game. But uh, it was mental. It's hard to take in as well. Just really, obviously, getting the goal and winning. All the fans gone mental. And just need to kick on to the next game as well. It's a tough one this weekend. What's it been like this week? How intensive has the work been behind the scenes? Uh, it's been very hard this week. Tough training's been tough. Um, obviously, we've been doing a wee bit of shape and all that. Um, just try to work a wee bit on Celtic and just what we're going to do and just try to take the game to them. It's a tough opponent, obviously they're playing Valencia tonight, but it's a, it's a strong team regardless. But What can we go there and do to cause them problems? Yeah, if we can go there with no fear, obviously we've won six in a row. Um, hopefully make it seven. Uh, but it's got to be tough, but we're going to, need to go there and try try play the way we've been playing, just get the ball down, try play a bit and just cause them problems. It's been 86 years since a Motherwell team won seven league games in a row. Aye, your reaction says it all. But how huge would it be to be that team to do it for so long? Uh, it would be unbelievable, obviously, doing it at Parkhead as well. Um, it's going to be tough, but all the boys are confident in there and just try to do our best and never know what happens.